In the lectures we mentioned potential dividers and also the fact that we can use potentiometers to implement them. These are easily found in the lab, but how do we implement them in a simulator? There is no such element as a potentiometer in AWR, but we can create one of our own. We create a new schematic and we'll call it POT. Let's press Ctrl L and get ourselves a couple of resistances and place them on the schematic like so. Remember that a potentiometer is effectively two resistances connected in series, but the peculiarity of it is that if you change the value of one resistance, you will also change the value of the other. Let's add a DC voltage source and of course a ground reference. And let's change the value of both resistances to 50. Now we can add some annotations to the circuit to give us the voltage at every node. And if we simulate, unsurprisingly, we get half the voltage of the voltage source at the point which connects R1 and R2. If I wanted to change the voltage at this point here, I could simply change the value of R2. So in AWR there is something very useful called the Tune tool, which you can see up here, and you can click on that. Then you can see that your cursor turns into a screwdriver, you click on the value that you want to tune, and this then will allow you to tune it. Press the Escape key to get the cursor to change to its normal shape, and then go up to the toolbar again and open this slider named Tune. Now you can see that the value of R2 is tunable, between 25 and 100 ohms and indeed if I move the slider up and down you can see how the voltage at the point interconnecting R1 and R2 also changes. The problem is that this is not how a potentiometer operates because I am changing R2 but R1 is staying the same. So we have to find an arrangement where when we change the value of R2 the value of R1 also changes and the overall value of the sum R1 plus R2 remains the same. So let's restore the value to what it originally was and also remove the tuning from resistor R2. You do that by clicking on the screwdriver again and then clicking on the value. Now the color of that value has changed from blue to black which means it is no longer tunable. Press escape to get the cursor to come back to its normal shape. In order to implement a potentiometer properly what we need to do is use equations in AWR. So you can see up here on the toolbar there is this equation button so we press that and then we click on the schematic anywhere and we firstly define a constant which we'll call RT which is the overall value of the potentiometer that we want to build in this case 100 ohms. Remember that with a potentiometer you get an overall value which is R1 plus R2 and then you can assign more of that resistance to R1 and take away some from R2 or vice versa. Then we need to add a tuning variable which is what allows us to control how how much of that resistance goes into R1 and how much goes into R2 and we call that K in the lecture slides so we'll create another equation and we'll define a variable called K and we'll set it to zero to begin with. This is just an arbitrary value, we'll see why in a moment. Now we need to define a value for R1 and a value for R2 and we've got the equations for these in the lecture slides and we will say that R1 is equal to K times RT. Remember that k is a value between 0 and 1, so this will give us a proportion of the value of rt assigned to r1. Then the value of r2 has to be such that r1 plus r2 still add up to rt. So we'll define r2 as being equal to 1 minus k times rt. So now we've defined uh, the value of r1 and r2 in such a way that if you change the value of uh, R1 using K, the value of R2 also changes and the sum of R1 and R2 remains the same and will be equal to RT. So all we need to do now is replace the value which is fixed at the moment for R1 and R2 with the variables that we've defined. Now the only thing left to do is to be able to tune the value of K because changing the value of K between 0 and 1 is what will give us an equivalent of the potentiometer action in a circuit. In order to tune the value of K, again we click on the screwdriver tool and then we click on K. Press escape to get to the normal cursor and then open the tuning slider again. Now notice how the values that the simulator has assigned to the value of K vary between minus 1, the lower one, to 1. And this is not what we want we want the values to change between 0 and 1, otherwise we would get a negative resistance. So all we need to do here is change this lower value to 0. And now we have a simulation model which can emulate a potentiometer in a circuit. Let's start with a value of 0 0.5 for the potentiometer. This will give us an equal value for R1 and R2. So if we simulate, we should get exactly the same value uh, for the voltage at the connection between R1 and R2, and indeed we do, it's 0.5. Then if we move the slider down, we are 
assigning more resistance to R2 than we are to R1. So we can see the voltage increasing up to a point where it is exactly the same as that of the voltage source. In this case, R1 will be equal to zero and R2 will be equal to the full RT, which is 100 ohms. The other extreme is when we move the potentiometer to the other position. In this case, R2 will be equal to zero and R1 will be equal to the full RT, which is 100 ohms. So this is how you implement a, a potentiometer in AWR.